Welcome everyone. I'm Dean Phillips, Worldwide Tech Lead for Automotive at AWS. Hi everyone. I'm Stefano Marzani, Principal Specialist Solutions Architect, Autonomous Vehicle at AWS. Stefano, you and I talk a lot about electrification and how vehicle architectures are changing to support this new powertrain. To make this transformation possible, OEMs are shifting to software-defined platforms where the runtime is abstracted from the underlying hardware. This shift is enabling a transformation of the entire value chain, where customers expect increasing value over time, just like how new capabilities and fixes are delivered to smartphones. I'm super excited about how AWS Edge services and capabilities give customers centralized control for decentralized execution. The cloud is key to offering infrastructure to remotely manage software deployment at scale. A prime example of this is our vehicle edge to cloud solution with NXP. Stefano, talk to us about our collaboration with NXP. Well, Dean, AWS recently announced a strategic relationship with NXP focused on extending the opportunities of connected vehicles. Together, we are delivering a secure edge to cloud compute solution for next generation vehicles that can enable new cloud powered services to benefit car makers, their business partners, and customers, of course. NXP integrates AWS services like uh, AWS IoT Greengrass and Amazon SageMaker and SageMaker Neo for AI ML to run models at the edge, and the AWS Connected Mobility Solution with NXP's S32G vehicle network processor. I think this is really the level of integration that the industry needs right now to make the step required by all modern trends, including electrification and autonomy. And what's your take on that, Dean? That's right, Stefano. To realize all the benefits of future connected vehicles, the automotive industry needs a new type of compute solution with centralized access to vehicle data that can securely and collaboratively work with the cloud. So true, Dean. So now let's introduce uh, NXP's Kurt Hillier as uh, he shows us how incorporating cloud-based processing and data management at the edge using the S32G processor provides a lot of value for customers. Take it away, Kurt. Hello, I'm Kurt Hillier, Technical Director at NXP. Today I'm introducing to you for the first time the NXP and AWS Connected EV Management System. The Connected EV Management Solution demo incorporates three major components. The Green Box 2, serving as a powertrain domain controller. The NXP Gold Box, acting as a service-oriented gateway running AWS IoT Greengrass Core, and then the AWS Cloud Connected Mobility Solution. These encompass the major features of the demo. The demo incorporates three major use cases for connected vehicle. Predictive maintenance, advanced vehicle diagnostics. The system looks at all the driver inputs, the vehicle characteristics, and the known torque sources in the vehicle, electric motors, combustion plants. Now let's see the demo in operation. As you can see here on the demo track, we've got the Simulink model with the vehicle animated and then the vehicle metrics off on the right side here. As we drive the vehicle, you'll notice that the electric motors are now spinning and they correlate with the vehicle speed. And then a little further down in one of the bottom charts, you can see that we have a torque vectoring algorithm that runs. So you can actually control the amount of torque that you apply to the left and the right motor to assist with steering. And then we'll get out to the straightaway. Now that we have the vehicle on the straightaway of the M-City test track, let's take a look at the Amazon Web Services Cloud. So this is the fleet management software in the CMS system, the Connected Mobility Solution. We'll click on our car. You can see our 21, 2021 car here, and you see the dot on the map. This is where we are on the M-City map. You see we've got the software version, trouble codes, an odometer reading, battery charge, the current speed, and a remaining useful life. Uh, of one of the components in the vehicle. So as we start driving, again, our tires are gonna move and we'll start moving down the test track. And then we can see that our GPS dot and our location of, our, of, of this vehicle and our fleet is actually updating as well. One of the algorithms that runs behind the RUL, the remaining useful life, is a SageMaker uh, LSTM neural network. So there is a, a set of data that we feed to that machine learning algorithm and it's doing a prediction on the remaining useful life of the engine. 
For more information about Greenbox 2, Goldbox, and our connectivity services with AWS, please visit nxp.com.